morning people, we're over in Meanwood, feeling a bit fresh today, not to everyone out there, don't go out on a school night, don't go out and think you're clever, it's not big, it's not hard, it's not clever, feeling a bit rough today, um, but we're starting a full refurb at a Meanwood cottage, well a cottage in the middle of Meanwood Park, really nice bit of, bit of land, um, I think it's one of them, if you didn't know it were there, you'd never know it were there. Um, so it's basically Meanwood Park, um, and then around Meanwood Park there's like a bit of woodland area. There's like a row of terrace cottages sort of thing. Um, and yeah, we've gutted, gutted a lot of it. So at the moment, all that's in there is a hot water system. There's just a, a cylinder upstairs and yeah, there's no central heat at all. So we're taking that out, we're putting a combi boiler in, we're putting an ideal logic max in. Um, it's five radiators and an underfloor system going on in the open living downstairs, which would be nice to do. We'll get some footage of that. I don't think it'll be this week though, because how things are going to roll with the job. I think we're going to get the plaster in before we put the underfloor in. Uh, just because they're all messy gates, like we all know plasters are. Um, so we'll get inside. We'll go show you around to see what um, see what he's doing. Today we're just going to be like prepping really get all the hot water cylinder stripped out, get everything where we need to be, get holes drilled in joists and pilot holes, holes outside, just get our head around everything and back tomorrow, well we're back we're here all week, so yeah it should be a, should be a good good job, so let's get in, let's crack on. Right so, here she is, this is the cottage, um, it's loading everything in now um, for the day, Oops. you see. There's little cottages, little terrace houses, sort of things. Um, beauty setting. Now let's spin this round. So, parking down here. I think I lose parking whilst today, don't you? You know, way up there. Um, so yeah, basically, in the middle of the woods. Um, it's ace. It's proper old school. Cottage, been here years, I bet hundreds of years he's been here. Um, I have to ask customer to see how long been here. It's on a little stream and what. And then just at the other side of these trees here, you've got a uh, Meanwood Park. So it's bang in the middle of Meanwood Park basically. Um, what setting that is. That's uh, something nice to wake up to on the morning. Right, people, so we're all inside set up now. We've got um, under, well underway um, so this is the cottage so yeah it's only a two bedroom um, we've got the gas meter here it's capped off dead safe um, that's getting moved outside onto the back wall out here so that's going on here some, somewhere and then what we're going to do is we're going to take it across to the boiler upstairs which is going somewhere over here, here we are, somewhere over here um, so we've got that to run up for gas and then condensate will be bossed into the stack oh, straight through the wall um, let's shut the stock a bit of wild, then. so as always, spark is being first to call, but all the room where I needed. Luckily, there's no gas pipes coming through here. Um, so, yeah. I had to move all the lines out there, drill my holes out. Come up, and then we'll be going up there to the end of cupboard. Um, so, we've got quite a few pipes coming in from there. We've got the Flow meter for the uh, essentially in flow meter for the um, underfloor and the hot and cold, so well, six pipes all together. So, cold will come down outside the doorway across until it's stopped up there, and then essentially the ends are gonna run all the way across right down to the other end. We've got to pick a radiator up there, we've got a radiator above here. And then we've got to drop one, drop two feet down for a tall radiator going on this wall. Um, so there's only one radiator down here. 
just for the minimum sliding. The manifold is going somewhere in that location. So we need to get two 22 mil pipes from here to the boiler. Um, so I'm not quite sure how we do it yet. I think we're running it around the wall, across, around the back of here, up, and then back to the boiler. Um, I'll show you upstairs. Do -do -do. Um, so, rocked. One ready going out the window there. Well, it is ready, it is. The fancy look lucky ones. I got tall wood going on that wall. And then this radiator going on that wall. So, we're nice and warm in here. Having, well, leaving all this open. It's not nice out once it's all, once it's all done. And then I've also got the bathroom to refurb. So we need to do first fix bathroom, ready for plaster to plaster off. I don't know if you can tell. I'm going to try to find a shower, a shower tree in there. Uh, when our pipe is open, I think what we're going to have to tell them is to get the dot, uh, plaster to dot and dab that off at a right angle there. Um, hopefully I can do it. And then we've got a piece 900 tray quadrant going in there and we've got a basin going here I think the it messaged me about the um, basin we did last week at that bathroom with the sewing uh, cradle I think she wants something similar let's go with the style of the cottage um, got a, new, a towel rail to go there a designer towel rail sort of thing floor standing I believe new toilets get stayed in, but stayed in the same position and then this is what they've got at the moment so we've got the old well, it's quite a new tank actually, it'll have to be replaced at some point. Um, and then, cylinder, I'm a resonator. Um, so, that's straining down now. I think, it's, I think it's nearly finished now, is that? Nearly. Um, so we just put a hosepipe in and give it a good old stuck on the pipe, on the hosepipe and siphoned it out. So we'll get that out. Boiler's going on that back wall. We're going to flow out the side. Um, pipes. Gonna come up here and it's gonna all run nice and neatly up and up to the boiler. Might have to do some offsets and it's got motorized valves, uh shock arresters, all that malachis going there. Um and then we're running the system on two hives. So we're gonna have a hive on the third on the central in and then a hive on the underfloor. So yeah, it's a big it's a big job but not not big. It's big for a customer but it's not a big house. Um, so it shouldn't take too long. We have had most of the week just uh, just getting first fixing really, getting by the up wall. The gas ain't getting moved for a while yet, so we can't fire it up or anything like that. Um, the underfloor. In fact, let me spin this around. I'll talk to you a bit more personally. The a little bit, a bit messy. Uh, the underfloor we've got um, going down in a couple of weeks once the plaster is done because we don't want plaster. Wrecking out on the floor or putting out through the pipe work. Um, so, so yeah, I've got to go back and forth with customer because he's on both on holiday in Spain. So, then it up while we graft and get a bit. I'll ever half live. Uh, well, if we can all go on holidays. Uh, so, yep, we're going to get this cylinder out, get all this stripped out of here, and then call it a day today. I think we might shoot to the merchant, go grab some bits for tomorrow. We'll start throwing some pipe working. Yeah, let's get this out. to sweep out and then oh my god oh my god oh, I can't see from there um, I'm not sure how high we're going to go by the yet because the picture of the roof needs to be so far below the the picture outside so we're somewhere about this height I think so I think they might leave these in I think might 
Go with the flu, booked a bomber there. Yeah, yeah, I think that should do us. And then got some storage space above, storage space for below. Yeah, we'll do that. So we got all these bits of clips off, tidy up. That'll go in my basket, I'll go in the back of van. I'm gonna go uh, trip to the scrap yards on Saturday morning, maybe. If not, I might go this week, I don't know, maybe th Friday if we get the chance. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna tidy up, see what else we can do today. Might pilot some else for the flu and the condensate, blow off, obviously. Um, might pilot them. I think I'll do this for today. Yeah. Right, see you tomorrow. Right, we're back at um, Tuesday morning, back at a, the cottage refurb. And all the other floor eating, my van is on its ass. Um, went a bit to hot cover last night, got pipe working. Uh, the under floor heating system we're using is snug, uh, you might see it on NJ Tiff's um, page the other week. Never used them before, uh, seen his video and looks really good for the system I needed. I needed the overlay system. So you've got these cement boards which are 18mm thick, 12mm pipes go inside and you've got these little grooves which are helpful curving the pipe. And it's a bit shy, we've got an helper today. Say hi Jaden. No. Say hi Jaden. No. Alright no, then. A bit shy, bless him. Uh, Jaden's going to be starting with us next year, uh, all being well as an apprentice. He's in year 11 at the moment and he's uh, just helping his outfit there. So, yeah, that's uh, that's his job today. Looking forward to the day, Jaden? No. No? So, he's letting all them in. That's, uh, I've got a feeling my suspension's knacked. Uh, once they're all in, I'm going to start throwing some pipes down the wall um, as the Electricians in the, in the bathroom um, putting the spotlights in. Well, first fixing for the spotlights. So we can actually get in there and put a first fixing. So, yeah, we'll get up there and go crack on. Right, people, so we're just running the hot and cold upstairs now. So I'll put our foil tape behind there. We will put some back of here just to protect the copper from the brickwork. Um, so, what we've got is we've got the, this gas meter going, getting moved. Um, Sink's going under the window, 600 coming out and the sink. Customer's not sure whether he's having Belfast yet. But he's got the pipes pretty low down just, just in case he does drop at Belfast. And there's a dish, dishwasher going to the side of it, which the stop tap was directly behind. So what we're going to do is sold it across, up, stop tap there, bring the tail out for the cold, up and connect onto there. Um, also then bring the hot down and out for the tail for the hot. Um, yeah, um, and then we've also got, we're going to drill two holes out for the um, outside taps. We're not going to connect them in yet, which we're going to get the tails out, and then the unit can just push back in, and then we can second fix it and connect the outside taps in afterwards. So, yeah, we'll get the uh, strap band list back, and then that's all getting covered in, that's all getting got and dabbed in, uh, in place. So, yeah, I might actually bring. Might, might bring it out, that, I don't know, I'm not sure, bring it out and then in, I don't know. But let's crack on, get this piped up. Right, right before anyone fuck this out the morning, it's not my tip, Glister Services is on Instagram did it, but I'm just sharing the love. So, uh, pipe, cold me, it's full of water. Let's go there. Then pump all the water out, make a meal of the solder, make life a bit easier. Right, people, it's Wednesday. We have not got much done as we thought. I didn't get back to you yesterday, Tuesday. We had a bit of a bad day yesterday afternoon. We um, got Jaden on with the coring, and it turns out the walls are made of solid stone and they are a piss take to drill through. So I was hoping to get at least three of the holes dr uh, drilled yesterday. Well, I got one and a half um, done yesterday. 
it's got the basin in and half of the kitchen one done and then the bit got stuck in the wall i got pissed off and i packed all the tools up and went home so after having a good night's rest back this morning we finished drilling the kitchen waste out and drilled out the shower waste so they're all drilled out ready to go yeah it's a pain i hate carring one of them it's part of the job i suppose people get companies into it but I've not. I've never inquired about them. Are they expensive? I don't know. Um, so yeah, didn't get as much plumbing work done as as I wanted yesterday because I'm back and forth helping Jaden out. Um, so yeah, let's spin this round, show you what we have got done. And before you all moan, I have used speed fit. You're gonna slag me off in comments. I don't care. It's how I've done it. It's how I've always done it. It's how I got taught to do it. Um, I am a speed fit warrior, and I'm happy about it. So. Radiator up there, we've got sling across to our main 22s, which have flown all the way to here. We've then got these two pipes here, which are going, going to drop down the wall um, and pick up a radiator there. And they're also going to go back up and pick a designer radiator up there. We've not got them yet. They're coming tomorrow. So I might come back Monday and do them before I do them. Uh, the pipes then continue all the way down and pick up another radiator in the bedroom above. And we've also got our radiator in the bathroom, which I haven't got yet, but we've got some drawings I need to drill them through and to connect them up. So at the moment, we've got to plumb in the bathroom. So we've got basin coming through here, across there. Um, so I tap into them. Uh, shower pipes there. We've got to cut them up, cut them back a bit and bring them across. We've got our incoming calls and our hot to the kitchen. I'm tapping in as well. There are two 15 mils to the boiler. The hot and cold and a cold for the toilet so we're gonna do that now uh waste before you say it it's not on the wires and it's not on the pipe work it's on that little bit of dimber there holding it up it's gonna get cut back to about here so yeah plenty of fall on it uh, let's see this one again so yeah uh what else have i showed you uh central heating pipes for the under floor we have kept it into the boil on separate runs um, run down the wall here, down, they are then going to loop around the wall, manifolds going in there, um, we get everything set up there. We're going to run them, run them round, then plaster is going to plaster over, um, and then we'll fit the manifold in the fresh plaster. It's all getting boxed in this, and so the customer's not really bothered with the pipes run first half. Afterwards, hoping that when the plaster works is magic, that when it dots and dabs it, It'll hide them, which I think it will. Um, so yeah, let's head upstairs, show you what we've got done upstairs. Oh, this is where the pipes go up, come through there and up there into the airing cupboard. And then in the bathroom, which is an absolute shade hole, is where the boiler's going, which I've showed you already. Um, our tail's coming up, we're gonna run, run them across, we'll have to do a bit of a bendy indy, um, get our motorized valves in, bypass, uh, magnetic filter, and a shock arrester up to the boiler ideal logic max and flow straight out condensate straight out blow off straight out and gas straight out can't wait to call them wish me luck uh we'll crack on do these little bits and we might catch up with you tomorrow once we get the boiler fit if it turns up it's not turned up yet from what i've heard so i might be just twiddling my thumbs tomorrow but Yep, we'll see you tomorrow. Right, people. Uh, Thursday morning. Meant to be fitting the boiler this morning, but decided to order it from Screwfix. Um, save a little bit of money, quite cheap, a lot cheaper, to be fair. Um, probably ordered it on Monday, promised a two day delivery, and it's now Thursday, still not turned up. Driving complaints and tracking it and tried bringing tough mills who were delivering it they refused to speak to me um really bad customer service really uh will, will not be ordering from Screwfix again so yeah no boiler going in today so we're gonna do a bit of carring instead can't get my prep as much as we can get flu hole done gas uh, and condense put in that's all we can do really there's just some little bits and bobs downstairs that can be finished off um and i spoke to customer radiators for the the sort of two designer radiators and then towel rail mating up today 
So we've got to pick them up if they do. Might be a start, a start on them, make a start on them depending what time they turn up. But we will see. So, Corin. We all hate Corin, especially in this job because the walls are pain. Flipping ass. So, I'll spin it around. Let's show you this. So, I don't know if you've seen this before. You might have if you're on Instagram. Um, this little setup here. They do do the custom, uh, the, um, what's it called? The car picture set as well and car drills. But it's mainly this bit. It's called the clipper car. So, basically, we know how much of a pain it is to dismantle a car piece. Let's put this down. So, usually you'd be there with spanner and grip trying to undo it with this. Clip pops out and they come apart. you then got bars in there, pilot bits. You can just put it in, hammer it out, knock it out. Easy as. Put it back together. Two holes line up and the clip pushes in there and then you're ready to go again. Really good bit of kit, clipper car, and we'll put a link to their website in the description below. Right people, uh pretty much all done at the cottage refurb, the hunt hideaway on Instagram, go check it out, you'll see all the progress updates on there. So yeah. Boiler never turned up, but so two designer tall radiators finally turned up. Tower rail's not turned up though, that's the other thing. So there's only really them left to sort out for the first fix. Everything else is first fixed. Upstairs we have um pop this wall out. Well I didn't. Dean did. Uh, that's on locked out. And yeah, we started putting the First fix in here. Look at that. So we've got all our pipes ready here. Uh, whole foot gas there, cord out, condensate, cord out, and flu hole. Hello! Cord out. So when uh, screw fix and decide to deliver the boiler, it's going there. Um, but yeah, bit, bit shit, really. So, just spoke to them. Uh, they're passing the blame onto the delivery company, saying that they're taking the piss to get it delivered out. Here, you know, lesson learned. Uh, but we're back again Monday. We've got the designer radiators to hang, well, not hang, first fix, boiler to put on the wall. Uh, so, we've got one, the other radiators going here. One of them, that's our radiator. It's going on this wall. And the chrome pipes are there. Nice little old cottage, really. And then in here, I don't think it'd be about too dark. Can you see? No. Uh, there's another radiator going there, exactly the same as that one that's on the floor. Um, yeah, went for customer to buy the trap. Because uh, we're having all gold accessories, I believe. So I need a gold. Trap to go put in there, ready for them the plaster of plaster is over. Uh, shower's first fixed. Yeah, toilet is still there, it's not disappeared. So, probably boring you enough repeating myself. Um, so yeah, Thursday, whatever, yeah, Thursday. So tomorrow we've got just a couple of little jobs to do. Uh, well, we're doing half day tomorrow because tomorrow night, if you didn't know, me and my partner are expecting twins. We're having a gender reveal tomorrow night, so big day tomorrow we find out whether it's two boys or whether I'm moving to Spain and it's two girls. Um, so I will let you all know what we end up having. Heaven forbid we have two more girls. I've got two girls already. I don't need another two. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know what, it, what the outcome is of that. I don't speak to you before, I will see you on Monday. Yeah!